hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to create sliver app bar and i will also talk about this ui that i have created here like this uh, this is basically a list view and this is sliver app bar so without any delay let's get started first of all i just want to tell you that uh, for this UI, I haven't used any kind of package. So without any delay, let's get started. So first of all, uh, this is my array, which is visible here as string list, uh, list of string uh, it is, and I'm using it like title and subtitle for both. You can use your own array, uh, which will come from API, or you can also use it uh, like static. So whatever it is. So let's move forward. Uh, this is a stateful widget and inside build. I'm taking here scaffold and then uh, I'm setting the background color will be deep purple, a shade of 300 and inside body. I'm taking here custom scroll view and in this I'm taking slavers and it will take widget of array. So inside this, I'm using sliver app bar and then I'm using pinned equal to true and floating equal to true. I will make it false and will show you the effect of uh, these two pinned and float. For now, I'm using it as a true. Expandable height will be of 250 for this particular image. For uh, this is uh, basically slaver app bar, so height is 250. And then I'm using slaver list. I will move back inside this widget. For now, I'm creating here uh, this list. I'm taking here slaver list. And it will take a delegate. And delegate would be slaver child build delegate. And then in, I'm using here count of 12 uh, because my array contains 12 elements. Uh, you can use your array which will come, uh, you, you can use your array length which will come from API. So I'm using for a uh, static for now. So again, uh, it will take uh, build context and index. Then uh, I'm using here padding and padding would be 8 for this and then it will be a child as a container and then inside container I'm using here padding padding would be 20 from top and 20 from bottom if I will hot reload from now this is the result uh, because I haven't take, uh, took anything inside this so I will show you after doing little bit of more coding for now if i will run this you can see this is my list and it will scroll like this so uh, let me add some more elements like title subtitles this is the color for this icon size would be 40 and this is the subtitle and uh, i'm passing the text as this course array from which is coming from this array course and this one is the index this is the index again for the title of uh, before that uh, let me add some text color like this uh, let me add title here again course will be and then the color of the text then font weight would be bold if i will auto reload this this will be the ui now now font size will be 20 it is looking fine now let's move for towards this container now inside uh, this slaver list there uh, was padding and then container and i'm providing some kind of 
border and gradient color so inside decoration box decoration gradient uh, would be linear gradient and begin alignment dot top left alignment dot bottom right and color should be color dot deep purple and color dot color deep purple dot uh, shadow would be 300 okay and for borders i'm using uh yes this is for border radius let me it looks great now uh, let me add some border also here so border dot all and by default it will take width of one so i'm not providing any width for the border and color i'm providing here uh, gray dot shade 400 now if i will hot reload this nice now let's move forward for this sliver app bar i will add image and little bit of blur effect so that when you will scroll your image and text will be visible here as app bar so let me add here flexible spaces flexible space bar and center title would be true and title padding would be 10 from all four sides and i'm taking here row and it will be main access alignment to start and then inside children i'm adding clip or rect for providing corner radius uh, for uh, providing circular image for showing circular image basically and for now i'm using uh, asset image and uh, in your case maybe your image will come from api so in that case you may use image dot network so this would be image box fit fill uh, these are quite uh, basic things so you can fast forward or if you are a beginner you can watch continuously height would be 40 width would be 40 and again there would be a size box let me hot reload this this is the image and after some space i want text so what i will do i will add here text available courses and again i will add some icon here so again i'm using here size box for spacing a width of five pixels and i'm using here this icon now it's it looks perfect and color let me add the color white and finally i will add the picture here so after this this comes under title so inside sliver app bar this one is title and inside title i'm using row widget and inside row uh, there is image then text then icon so this one is the title and after that i will add here background background is i'm taking here image filtered for providing some uh, kind of blur effect uh, i will show you after uh, changing some values and image filtered it will take image filter image filter dot blur sigma x equal to 2 sigma y equal to 2 you will increase the if you will increase the value of sigma x sigma y the blur effect will uh, also increases so for now i'm using 2 and after completing the code i will uh, change the value and will show you the effect again i'm using the same image here uh, let me run this hot reload this one is the image a uh, little bit of blurry and let me add box fit fill now it looks perfect still there is one more thing this app bar color so let me add here background color be deep purple dot shade would be 300 less hot reload is done now the design looks perfect 
so for now I am just going to change the value of this I'm going to change the value from 2 to 5 and again this value to 5 let me hot reload this you will see more blurry effect if you will increase the value more 10 or 10 you will see more blur so you can handle this blur with the help of uh, this sigma x sigma y value for now i am using 2 2 because it looks good for me and one more thing i just wanted to show you if you will not uh, make this value true pinned value true and floating value true then what it what will happen let me take here false and this one is false and let me hot reload this what you will see this app bar will not be able to perform sticky effect like this when i will scroll it will go upside upside and when i will scroll down app bar will not arrive right after scrolling when we will reach at the top then it will arrive like this so for now i want this to behave like sticky app bar so i will go with this one and for uh, you all i will put the code on github and will share the link with you uh, you can copy paste my code in your project and uh, Yes, please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and that's it in this video. Hope to see you next time in our next video. Bye for now.